Well, I'd say this conversation is long overdue, wouldn't you? Fix him. First, we talk. Then I fix your darling little Sammy. How did you get him my dad anyway? Well, I told him I could save his wife, and he said yes. I guess they oversold me being your one and only vessel, huh? You're my true vessel, but not my only one. What is that supposed to mean? It's a bloodline. A bloodline? Stretching back to Cain and Abel, it's in your blood, your father's blood, your family's blood. Awesome. Six degrees of heaven bacon. What do you want with me? You really don't know the answer to that? Well, you know I ain't gonna say yes, so why are you here? What do you want with me? I just want you to understand what you and I have to do. Oh, I get it. You got beef with your brother. Well, get some therapy, pal. Don't take it out of my planet. You're wrong. Now, Lucifer defied our father, and he betrayed me. But still, I don't want this any more than you would want to kill Sam. You know, my brother, I practically raised him. I took care of him in a way most people could never understand, and I still love him. But I am going to kill him because it is right, and I have to. Well, because God says so? Yes. From the beginning, he knew this was how it was going to end. And you're just gonna do whatever God says? Yes, because I am a good son. Well, trust me, pal. Take it from someone who knows. That is a dead-end street. And you think you know better than my father? The one unimportant little man? What makes you think you get to choose? Because I gotta believe that I can choose what I do with my unimportant little life. You're wrong. You know how I know? Think of a million random acts of chance that let John and Mary be born, to meet, to fall in love, to have the two of you. Think of the million random choices that you make and yet how each and every one of them brings you closer to your destiny. Do you know why that is? Because it's not random. It's not chance. It's a plan that is playing itself out perfectly. Free will's an illusion, Dean. That's why you're going to say yes. Oh, buck up. It could be worse. Yo, know, unlike my brothers, I won't leave you a drooling mess when I'm done wearing you. But what about my dad? Better than new. In fact, I'm gonna do your mom and your dad a favor. What? Scrub their minds. They won't remember me or you. You can't do that. I'm just giving your mother what she wants. She can go back to her husband, her family. She's gonna walk right into that nursery. Obviously. And you always knew that was going to play out one way or another. You can't fight City Hall. home. Safe and sound. Your turn. I'll see you soon, Dean.